Hey, what's up guys, Patty Cakes here. So I've had a lot of newer Destiny players asking me questions about the game in my YouTube comments during my Twitch streams lately. And I wanted to start a new video series doing my best to help new light players get a solid start with Destiny 2. The first video in this series is going to be about choosing keybinds for mouse and keyboard players that works the best for you. If you're new to the game and have some questions you'd like to see me cover in a future video, please leave a comment below and let me know. Before we get into the nitty gritty binds, I want to take a second and explain my philosophy for setting up your controls. I've been playing FPS games on PC for a long long time now, about 20 years, and since I tend to play a lot of different games, it's important for me to keep my keybinds pretty consistent across as many games as possible, and that cuts down on the time required for me to relearn my binds every time I switch games. My particular setup is designed to work fairly well across games like CSGO and Apex Legends in addition to Destiny 2, and I think when you're picking your binds, it's important to consider what other games you're likely to play. If you're new to playing on mouse and keyboard, it's important to understand that not all keys are created equally. The keys surrounding W, A, S, and D are considered prime real estate in the keyboard world, and you want to keep these for things in game that you'll be using the most. Typically, this means that keys like 1 through 4, Q, E, F, and R, and the left shift and control are going to be some of the prime real estate buttons. Ideally, you're also going to want to use a mechanical keyboard. I'll link a few popular keyboards in the description so you can check them out. So let's get into the actual keybinds. Looking first at the gameplay category, one thing to note here is the top option. If you tend to share an account with someone else and you each play on your own computer, you're going to want to set the option here to computer so that you don't override each other's keybinds. For my movement keys, I keep the standard WASD keybinds for moving forward, left and right, and backwards. I use Z for my finisher ability. This is not one that I really need to press all that often, so I don't want it to be used up by a prime real estate key. For emotes, I keep these mostly on the directional arrows, but I do make an exception for having one of these bound to C, so that I can use it to third person peek without having to move my hand away from the WASD keys. Although I try to only use this tactic when the other team's abusing it against me because it is pretty cheesy. I keep the standard T bind for push to talk and O for return to orbit. Now onto the character options, this is where things typically start differing quite a bit from player to player. I like to keep the actions that require aiming on my mouse, which frees up my movement with the WASD keys while I'm performing these actions. For example, grenades and melees would fit into this category. So I use left mouse click for fire, R for reload, and mouse 5 for melee. This is the button you hit with your thumb that goes forward in a web browser. I use hold zoom instead of toggle zoom, and I assign that to my right mouse click. Since I'm using mouse 5 for my melee, I also like that to be the same for the light sword attack, so I use mouse 5 for that as well. Then I put the heavy attack on my left click and block on right click. For jump, I double bind this one to be both my spacebar and my mouse wheel scroll down. Having jump on your mouse wheel can be really helpful for Titan and Warlock skating, and it's also my go-to button for bunny hopping in CSGO and Apex Legends. I use hold sprint instead of toggle, and I put that on my left shift. I also use hold crouch instead of toggle crouch, and I bind that to my left control key. The decision to use hold on this is for two major reasons. If you use toggle crouch and you slide into a lane, you need to either press it again or hit sprint to stand back up, which is an extra button press that you can avoid if you're using hold. And on the same line of thinking, if you use toggle crouch and try to crouch while you're dueling to throw off your opponent, you need to hit that same key again to stand back up, which is slower than just tapping and releasing the key when you have it on hold. It's really important that whatever you pick for both your sprint and crouch keys, are very comfortable keys for you to press and switch between easily. I grew up playing Counter-Strike where Shift and Control were the default keybinds, and I've also been playing guitar for most of my life, so my left hand pinky dexterity is pretty solid. However, I know some people really struggle with activating that pinky, so if you're in that boat, you might want to rethink how you have those bound. Sliding in Destiny is an absolutely key movement technique for high-end play. You perform this by running and then crouching. So you need to pick a keybind that allows you to switch between these in a fluid motion with absolutely no hesitation. As a key side note here, I did try having hold crouch on my mouse for a while, but I ended up going away from it because I felt like needing to hold that extra button while also holding my right click to aim down sights was messing up my aim a little bit. Maybe it will work better for you, but for me it just wasn't ideal. My class ability is on F, which is your Hunter Dodge, Warlock Rift, or Titan Barricade. The only real downside of binding it to F for me was that it makes it a bit harder to dodge directly to the right on a hunter, since you temporarily have to take your finger off of the D key in order to hit F. And so what I do instead here is I usually just dodge forward and then swing my mouse to the right 90 degrees. And it basically works the same way. It's not really an issue if you play Warlock or Titan, since those are stationary actions. I've also played around with having my class ability on mouse wheel up, which I did really like, but on my old mouse it would occasionally trigger when I didn't even touch the mouse wheel, 
so I moved away from that bind, but it might be a good option for you. For air move, I have that on my mouse wheel up. This keybind is currently only applicable to Dawnblade Warlock for either the Phoenix Dive or Icarus Dash. Maybe someday us Hunters and Titans will get a neat air move too. My interact is on E. This is probably not the greatest key to use on this based on our philosophy from the beginning of the video, but I have about 20 years of muscle memory pressing E in games to interact, so for me that's just not changing anytime soon. I do also double bind this key to have interact be on my left alt, and that way I can hit it with my thumb and I don't have to take my fingers off of WASD. This helps a lot when you're trying to resurrect a teammate in PvP for game modes that allow resing like Elimination or Trials of Osiris. It also works well when you're planting or diffusing the bomb in Countdown, or when you're pulling heavy ammo either off the ground or off of a wall, and still want to be able to move around a bit. My grenade is bound to mouse 4, which is typically the back button on a web browser. I really like having my grenade bound to my mouse so I can easily aim my mouse while throwing it, and I also don't have to take my fingers off of WASD for moving. This is especially important for abilities like handheld supernova that require holding down the grenade button to charge it before you let go. For my super, I have that on middle mouse button, or mouse 3 as it's often called. This works pretty well since you sometimes do need to aim your mouse while casting your super like on the warlock with nova bomb. The only downside I see here is that it's a bit awkward to repeatedly press on bottom tree night stalker to continuously shoot that tether. For weapon swapping, I use 1, 2, and 3 for my kinetic energy and power weapons, and I also have Q bound as my switch weapon key. This is another habit from Counter Strike, and I find it a bit faster to hit Q than reaching up to hit 1 or 2 when I need to quickly switch between a hand cannon, and shotgun, and sniper. A quick warning here, one big mistake I do see a lot of new players making is keeping their next weapon and previous weapon bound to the mouse wheel. In my opinion, this is a major mistake because it's way too easy to accidentally scroll past the weapon that you're intending to swap to. If you absolutely insist on using your mouse wheel to switch weapons, the much better way to do this is to bind it so that you have scroll up, go to your kinetic weapon, scroll down, go to energy, and then middle mouse or some other key goes to your heavy weapon. I still don't think this is an ideal binding setup, but at least it's much better than the default keybind. For vehicle options, I tend to keep this pretty standard. The only real thing I tend to change here is that I bind my secondary weapon fire on mouse 4, which is the same key as my grenade button. The rest of the binds I use here are pretty standard, with just a few exceptions because of the binds I got used to in other games. For example, I have P as my roster button and I for my character inventory. While we're in the settings, one other thing I'll point out here quickly is that I do tend to use the colorblind mode Protonopia. As far as I know, I'm not colorblind, but I do find that the yellow color stands out a little bit easier on the radar compared to red especially since so many of the maps in Destiny 2 have a lot of red textures. So that wraps up this guide on keybinds. If I make any big changes in the future, I'll do my best to go back and leave a note on this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up rating and also subscribing and turning on notifications for my channel so you don't miss my next video. I found it really interesting looking at analytics the other day that a huge percentage of people who watch my videos actually aren't subscribed and might be missing out on a few videos. Also, please let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see me cover next. If you guys are into it, I'd like to do a lot of these videos for New Light players because I think there's a lot of people who are struggling to get started on Destiny 2 on PC, and I think I can shed some light there. I stream live on Twitch a few nights of the week, and I'd love to see you in chat. You can catch me over at twitch.tv slash pattycakespc. And finally, we have a fantastic Discord community that really enjoys helping new players out. You can find a link to join it in the description. That's all for now. Catch you guys next time.